In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and improve the quality of your webcam directly inside of OBS, regardless of the webcam that you have. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our webcam is added. So I'm just going to come to my just chatting scene. And if you are interested in the overlays that you see that I'm using here today, you can go in the description of this video. Now you can see here that out of the gate, the webcam that I'm utilizing is a $27 webcam. It's by far one of my favorite budget friendly webcams. And I'll put a link in the description of this video as well. But most webcams come like this. Now this one has a pretty good out of the box quality. Like you can get away with an image like this. However, we want to make this look even better and try to make it look as professional as we possibly can. And that's what I'm going to show you here today. Now, Super important. You want to make sure you're lit up as best as you possibly can. I'm going to show you some options here that if you don't have a lot of light, how you can go ahead and customize this directly inside of OBS. But if you do have lights, try to get lights. You can adjust the brightness of if you possibly can. So that way you can see the quality that we're going to get here. So once you have this webcam added, we're going to come right click. We're going to come to properties and you're going to see the first option here. Now, what I like to do right out of the gate is I just like to deactivate and activate my camera back. This just kind of refreshes it and gives you an opportunity to be able to start customizing it. Then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to come to where it says device default. We're going to select custom and give us more options here. Now the resolution, I want to make sure that I get the highest resolution that my webcam offers, right? So that's going to be 1920 by 1080. So now you're going to see that we have that there. As far as FPS, I want to get the highest. This is going to help with it not being laggy and being as smooth as it possibly can. Video format, I like to leave it at any. Color space, I like to do Rec 709. This is going to give you the most level of accurate color that you're going to be able to get. So you can see here that right now the webcam is kind of going crazy, right? So what I like to do is when you change settings a little bit too fast, I like to go ahead and deactivate, activate it back up. And you'll see here that now it's going to go ahead and get adjusted here. So now uh, for color range, I like to go ahead and do full. And that's going to give us again the most color that I can get out of this webcam. For buffering, I'll leave it at auto detect and then I'm going to press OK. So now that we got the default settings in place, now we're going to go ahead and customize even more what this is actually going to look like. So I'm going to click on the first cam. I'm going to come to properties. I'm going to come to configure video and that's going to bring up a window just like this. So the first thing that I like to do is come to camera control and I like to turn off the exposure. Now, before I turn it off, you're going to see here that this side of my face, it's super bright. The lights behind me are super bright. So the minute I take off auto exposure and leave it at negative seven, you're going to see here that now my face is not blown out the lights behind me are not burn out and you'd be like hey but you look really dark we're gonna adjust the brightness here in just a second so now once you have that i'm gonna come to video i'm gonna move this over so you can be able to see this a little bit better now i'm gonna come to where it says brightness now for the brightness i'm actually gonna go down with the brightness to about negative 15 and you say why are you going darker well there's two options here i'm gonna show you how to brighten this up but the first option is if you have lights you can go ahead and increase it right so i have two elgato key lights again i'll put a link in the description of this video and I'm able to adjust the brightness. Right now, I have them at 47%. If I were to bring them up to about 100, you're going to see here that now the brightness is pretty spot on. But because not everyone has the option to be able to increase the lights that they have, I'm going to show you how to do that directly here in the settings. So the very next thing that we're going to do is with the contrast. So for the contrast, I just bring it down just a little bit. The saturation, this is, brings a little bit more color, adds a little bit more redness to it. And that's prefer perfectly how I like to have it. So I'm going to increase this just a bit to maybe about 80. That's going to give me a little bit more color. You can see the purples that look a little bit more, more fuller. Um, and and then for the sharpness, I personally like to have this at about five. And again, it just adds a little bit more detail to the shot. Um, so you can go ahead and adjust that as you see fit. So now here for the gamma, this is how we're going to go ahead and increase the brightness of this image. So I'm going to take this from 100 to about 148. And you can see here that now the, the light is pretty much spot on. I didn't change my lights. All I did was change these settings for the white balance. I like to leave it on auto. And the reason why is because for some reason with the webcams, it literally just adjusts so much better. So when I take check this off, you're going to see that the color now looks too blue. Now, of course, I can go ahead and adjust this and bring this up and kind of get it to the sweet spot. But when I select auto, it literally just balances out here for me. And then for the backlight comp, I'm going to leave it at 30. And for the gain, I'm going to leave it at zero. So I'm going to select apply. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and press OK again. Now, one of the biggest things here is that when you close OBS, you are still going to have these settings. 
However, it's super important that once you right click on properties, you come to configure video that you go ahead and screenshot that just in case your settings ever get deleted, which could potentially happen if you update OBS or anything of that sort. But for this, it will save your settings. And now you have a webcam image that looks professional, looks high quality, and has allowed you to give your viewers a better experience. But if you have your video looking good and your audio sounds terrible, it's not gonna get you the viewers to stick around to watch your stream. So go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step-by-step -step on how to make any microphone that you own, regardless of price, sound professional. Watch that video right there. I'll see you guys in the next video.